Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome back to something else, Apple. As you know, I have the new, to me, M1 Mac Mini, nothing spectacular. And in the past, I did a review of this Quiz Lab dock dude that sits underneath and gave you all the ports and did the stuff and had all the neat things and it works very well. There's a new player in town. This is the Mini Sapporo USB dock stand for the Mac Mini. It's very compact. This will give you the ability to have an SD card reader, micro SD card, uh, USB type C pass throughs, additional uh, USB 10 gig, and it also gives you the capability to have an M2 NVMe SSD at up to 10 gigabytes. That's what the box says. We're going to open this unit right now, and for that we need a very small letter opener. So we're going to use the Klingon death blade to carefully cut the packaging of this and take the cellophane off. In the package we get the following. Okay, so we get the unit itself, small instruction manual, and the box. The unit itself is metal. This isn't your cheap plastic, this is metal. The Quiz Labs was all plastic. Real aluminum cover. That's good. It has a magnetic mount for the bottom. So when you insert this, there's no screws needed. It actually has a magnet. Okay, so with uh, without dill pickles for fingers, this goes right in there and it stays. If I give it a hard smack, I can really get it to come off. This is an NVMe. I don't know what generation. Let's find out. You get two 10 gig ports. 104 meg per second thumb drive reader, physical layout, okay, it says open magnetic cover, embed SSD, press your rubber cap which is included, they even give you heat padding, and put on the magnetic cover. I'm going to be using my external NVMe for a test, I'm simply going to remove this and pull it out, and this will simply click right in here, and there you go. And you can use the included rubber. There are silicone rubber grips on the inside. Nice quality rubber too. And on the bottom. I guess that's anti-vibration. That is really nice. Now your orientation is up to you. I'm going to stick mine this way because I like to look at the Apple logo and see my stuff. This will simply plug in to one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. Now this cable is quite long. It could actually be shorter. You have this long run, but you can always give it the old tile and tuck underneath like this and have a minimalist setup. That way when you're looking at the unit, you won't see a single cable. Let's test it out. Now I'm gonna leave it sit in this direction. Okay, so here's my desktop. We're all booted up. So I have some various videos on this 256 gigabyte partition that I created. This was from my external drive we took out and mounted in the base of the unit. I'm going to grab something that is 4.73 gigs and we're going to copy it to the internal SSD and see what we get. All right. Let's see what we get back to the 256. 4.73 gigabytes of space in about five seconds. So we're gonna run the Blackmagic SSD speed test. Because I'm gonna select the disk of the target drive of the 256, okay? And we're gonna give that a test. Ooh. No. That is not good. That is not good at all. And that's in megabytes per second. I'm not doing megabit, I'm doing megabyte. Okay, now comparison time. Okay, so the internal drive of the Mac is 
2518 megabytes per second write and 2850 megabytes per second read on a 3 gigabyte stress size. If I stress it at 1 gig, 3.2 3, 3.3 so that's not bad at all and that's what I would expect out of another port especially a Thunderbolt 4 port now this is a comparison of a rotational uh, Seagate which I'm going to plug into the Max USB 3 port so going from rotational media which is just used for archival for me you can see that internal SSD is way faster the internal, the second internal add-on at 520, that's about 4,000 megabit per second, which is pretty good. Okay, so stopping that test. This unit does not have regular USB ports. It only gives you the two USB type C ports, so keep that in mind. Just for a fair comparison, since the drive and the base of this unit, NVMe type 3, I'm going to shut this down, pull that drive out, and we'll put it back in the external case and test it again in both the internal port and the USB Type-C ports. Okay, so the drive has been removed. This is an inland 256 gigabyte NVMe Type-3. My test media here is this drive. It is a house brand from Micro Center. Now, first off, I'm gonna run this same test. So about 600 megabytes per second on write and about 460 on reads. Now ejecting this disc, we're gonna just simply plug it into the front hub port on the right that says 10G. We're getting 600 on the internal port. Now that's not a fault of this unit, that's a fault of Apple and their ARM chips ability to do fast Thunderbolt. And we're looking at about 373 it's not going to do it, and that's just the M1 itself. Next up, we're going to be testing Lexar's 32 gigabyte, 95 megabyte per second, version 10 Ultra 1 compact flash. Now this unit, unlike other units, goes in the correct way. Label up. Now this is not going to be fast at all, because it's an SD card, but it says it gets up to 100 megs on the product sheet 104 megabit per second so that's about 10 megabyte and it's actually getting 15 so it's doing quite well for what the specifications of this card reader port states micro SD is going to be the same now a lot of that depends on the speed of your card itself so for my 32 gigabyte uh, SD card test I have a 4.73 gigabyte MPEG 4 movie which I'm going to copy back which is going to take probably several minutes. Four minutes to copy that. In comparison, while I'm copying it that, I'm gonna copy it back here. This is to the USB Type-C plug. That took five seconds. This is going to take a while. I'm not going to wait. It is standard USB. You got to understand the capitals and the non. This says 104 megabit per second, which is about 10 megabyte per second to the TransFlash and the micro SD or the SD micro SD. Two USB Gen 2 10 gigabit per second ports, which are about one gigabyte of actual data transfer speed. So that is within spec. So it does what it says. Now, Am I getting 10 gig out of the internal port? Nope. The hub supports the M2 PCIe NVMe SSD interface up to 10 gigabit per second. This hub is also compatible with M or B and M or M.2. The five port USB-C upstream interface has a theoretical bandwidth of 10 gigabits per second. We, when we connect only one USB-C port or SSD slot, the maximum speed of 10 gigabits per second can be achieved. Hmm. With this single plugged device right here. Yep, that's it. I'll even put the light up there so we can see it blink. 
Yeah, you can see that blue light right there. So I'm going to run a speed test, and then I'll zoom the camera up so we can see it blinking, right? See it blinking? And uh, there, I'll leave it in the screen. 10 gigabit per second. I'm getting 476 megabyte per second on a 4 gig test stress. 360 to 75. Now these are in megabytes. You got to do your megabyte to megabit conversion. 500 megabytes, about 4,000 megabit. 450 is about 3,600 megabit. Nowhere near the 10 gigabit per second. Is it the drive? No, it's not the drive because I can hook this up to any other device, Windows or otherwise, and achieve those speeds no problem. It's just a limit of Apple and the Thunderbolt ports on their ARM devices. It has nothing to do with the hubs or anything like that. It's just, it's Apple and doing their thing. The other hub that I use, the QuizLab hub, is the exact same way. But convenience and size of this, it's not gonna easily fall out because it is rubber mounted. You can simply pull on it and it will come out just fine. So that is my review of the Mini Support USB dock for all Mac Minis with 2018 or later USB Type-C ports. That's a good run. It's all metal. It has a magnetized lid for your NVMe drive on the bottom, two extra rubber plugs, a nice quality all aluminum build, matches the metal of the Mac in finish and shine, rubber mounted slots in here will give you the stability you need. This product is currently 69 US dollars. That's not bad at all for all the features it gives you. And there are many uh, docks out there. I review lots of them because I love all these things. So thank you guys for coming along on this quick review of the Mini Sapporo USB dock for your Mac Mini. If you're interested, I will post some links to the product that I got below and you can get yours today. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something. What do you know from funny, you bastard?